Hey, Cross City fam. I hope you are getting ready for an awesome week at camp. Hume Lake is literally one of my favorite places in the entire world, not only because of the fun and exciting things we can do there, but because Jesus is always on display. No matter what is going on in our world or in our lives, we can just take a week away and we can spend some quality time with the Lord and our students, which we can never have too much of. Yesterday, Keaton started off our little series explaining and going over the holiness of God. And because God is perfect and set apart, He is in fact a holy God. He is good and He only deserves our best. He's all powerful, He's almighty, and He is all knowing. He is everything. And because He is so holy, like in the story with Moses that we heard yesterday, when God appears to Moses in this burning bush and Moses had to hide his face, God is too good for us. Moses hid his face because the glory and holiness of God would actually kill people back in that day. God cannot be in the presence of sin. And unfortunately for us, that's all we do. We sin, that's all we are. We're big fat sinners or sinnies as I like to call ourselves. But the thing about sin is that it has consequences. There is a price to pay for our sin. The first portion of Isaiah 53, six says this, we all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And we like stupid sheep, we, we've gone astray. We've wandered off. We've wandered far from God and we get caught up in ourselves rather than focusing on God. We lose focus on him and we start to focus on ourselves. And when we do that, sin creeps back into our lives. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. Did you hear that? Like all of us have sinned. That means everyone. And like I said, our sin has consequences. Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The wages of sin is death. The price we pay for our sin is death. And because God is good and because he is holy, he cannot allow sin into his presence. And that is why our sin condemns us. It kills us. And so continuing our story uh, in Exodus, Moses comes to Pharaoh and he says, I've been sent by God to tell you to let my people go. And this is how Pharaoh responds in Exodus 5.2. Pharaoh said, who is the Lord that I should obey him? and let Israel go. I do not know the Lord and I will not let Israel go. Pharaoh didn't know God and because of that, he didn't know about his holiness. And part of God's holiness is also his wrath, which Pharaoh found out about soon after those 10 plagues that destroyed Egypt. So because God is holy, he requires perfection. And because we cannot measure up to that perfection, we are condemned due to our sin. That's his wrath directed towards us. And so tomorrow we're going to hear about what comes next and how God provides for us through his love for us. We'll see you tomorrow.